Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. This is Four Page. Uh, in the last episode, we got this this bad boy up and running. And I believe we got this. Yes. So in between episodes I went and checked. This thing does uh, power thermal machines. That's good to know. So what I think we're going to do in this episode, uh, we're going to make some more water wheels. Get my uh, energy production up. Uh, we're not really doing anything with it yet, but we will. We will be doing something with it. Uh, we need more treated planks. Uh, let's have my bucket. Boink. Uh, boink. Sploop. Don't think I should need more than this. It's not for now. Should be fine. Okay. Uh, do I have steel in here? Yes, I do. I'm going to take like half of this. Pop it in here and finish that off. Get more steel. Um, I believe I need eight. Four per water wheel. And then we do this. And boom. We have two more water wheels. Alright, so. Here's the thing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move this water wheel. You know, it looks nice where it is. It's absolutely lovely. Completely aesthetically pleasing. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, but I think it could be better. So I'm going to go ahead and put these recessed into that wall over there. Make it look all nice and neat. Yes, we want to put it here. There, there. It's on the level with this. So this is Akashic Tome. Um, I didn't actually... I made this and I didn't actually know what it did. Apparently, you can craft it with all the other books. And make all the books into one book. Yes. Fine, you know what? I'll do this a different way. Jerks. This is taking a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but that's okay. Did that work? No. That will not work. So that needs to stay like that. Uh, do I have any smooth stone? I think I should? Question mark? And then I need you to go right there. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Look at that. Ah, oh, doesn't that look nice? Uh, I might clean this uh, area up a little bit with the dirt and make it terraform it a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer, but it doesn't look too bad. There we go. That should have power now. And boom. Time for bed. I'm going to build a, a HV capacitor because this is an LV capacitor. I was looking at it and the HV capacitor holds, uh, I think, 4 million RF. Uh, so that's that's a lot more than that one. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Right, I, I need to get uh, a farm going with uh, farm animals, you know, like chickens, cows. I think those are the only two I'm gonna start out with. Um, so I need, and then we do that, and then that, and that, and then we get a bunch of birch fences, a bunch of birch, and then at some point I'm also going to uh, not flatten but dig out an area underneath this hill, It'll give me a nice little wide area under the ground to work in and put things, and I think it'll be useful. So I want to have this about two away from the wall. Oh, that's that's not where you go. I'm going to split it right here. The cows in one of the pens and chickens in the other. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Um, I need to get a lasso. Oh, 
that's not what I wanted to click, but this. A golden lasso. It costs 8 experience points to craft and costs uh, 4 string and 4 gold nuggets. Not difficult at all. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, I uh, went down into the nether, to that nether fortress in there and kind of looted the place a little bit. I got some pretty neat stuff. I got uh, some horse armors, which I'm going to smelt down the gold horse armor into gold. And I got some wands. I got a teleportation wand, and I got a building wand. I thought I got another one, but I guess I didn't. Alright, so with this golden lasso, I'm going to get farm animals. Cows. There's cows over here. There's two cows over here, which is exactly as many as I need. Boink. I have a cow now. Come on. There we go. And there we go. I got two cows. And now I need two chickens. At least two chickens. Oh, also, if I'm going to be breeding these guys, I need to get to start getting wheat and seeds. And I don't think I have them down there at my farm. No, I only got all the Pam's stuff. Some sugar cane, a bunch of rice. In that case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of farming. Boom. Oh, wait, I forgot about the asparagus. Can't forget about asparagus. Asparagus. So these are gonna go here, and then these are gonna go here. All right. So. So that means I can have like another two by three, another two by three, and another two by three. And if I, I can have like a two by four here, and then have this entire section over here be wheat. Actually, I think what I'll do is um, I want the wheat section to be fairly large because so many things use wheat. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and dig out this portion just like so. Uh, none of this stuff that I've been doing so far <laughs> has really been part of my, my entire plan. Um, but I think it's worth it to do this because uh, it kind of needs to be done. Uh, pumpkin. I'm going to start growing pumpkins too. Because I have them. Might as well. Uh, potatoes. Potatoes. I'll do potatoes as well. I don't have any carrots, so I'll pass on the carrots. This looks nice. This is nice. I like the way this looks. It's going to look better. Don't worry. It looks nice, but it will look better. And we missed some pumpkin pie, guys. We missed some pumpkin pie. And as we know, pumpkin pie is incredibly important. Oh no, I forgot. It's gonna do that to that. Um, can't have that. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, oops, and we're going to get rid of this. that and then you like that boom, 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 boom. there so these pumpkin seeds are gonna grow and grow and grow and then the pumpkins are gonna land here on the sides and then I have a little bridge to get over and cut them down sweet huh I'll put pumpkins or potatoes over there and I was going to do seeds over here that's so cool. That's so cool, guys. Oh, I love I love my garden. I don't ever really do a whole lot of gardening in Minecraft. It's really kind of zen making a nice, beautiful little garden. Gah, I'm so stoked. I'm so happy about this. We need to go find some vines because I need to get some moss stone. Swamp land. I think that would be perfect. 
like absolutely perfect for um, finding vines. Uh, but that means we have to go all the way across the ocean again. But yeah, that means we gotta go across the ocean, and I don't want to boat all the way there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something at least my minutely interesting. I'm gonna fly across the ocean. I'm gonna be the next Amelia Earhart. <clears throat> um, flying across the ocean in a engineless glider. Oh wow, it's quite the updraft here. I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but this hang glider you can catch updrafts. Um, if you press a certain key on the keyboard, you end up getting a beepy thing that's kind of annoying. Uh, but it helps you find the updrafts. Um, so I use it sometimes. I added a new mod to the back. I keep doing that, but I have a very good reason for this one. Um, is because I really like Tinker's Construct, and I think it's really fun, and I would love to be able to do more with it. So I added a mod called Tinker IO, and that adds it a a few blocks that allow you to kind of sort of automate Tinker's Construct a bit. And so I'm going to get into that and start using that. I think it'll be fun. Here we go. You guys ready? Let's see how long this takes. I am just flying across. Way above the clouds. There's a meteor, right? Slime Islands. I think it's more in this direction. I can afford to check my map, I guess. Dang, I'm like halfway there already. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm making good time here. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'm glad that these chunks are already loaded and um, built. Not loaded, built. They're already built. So that way it's not freaking out my game. There she blows. Slow her down. Woo! Boink. You might be wondering why I'm getting vines. That answer will become clear to you eventually. There's a witch. Can we burn her? Okay, let's leave. I got what I came for. Now let's make our way to the top of this mountain. And then make our way back across the ocean. Easy peasy. Alright, so I'm heading off in that direction. Let's do this. Whoosh. Whoosh, I say. Whoosh. But yeah, I might add uh, Like a Night's Mobs to this pack very soon. <clears throat> uh, like I said, in the first episode I tried to add it it didn't go so well everything just tries to kill you very very quickly um you don't survive very easily uh, with like a night's mobs when you're just starting out so I part of that I think was because I started out in a jungle biome and there's a lot of nasty stuff in the jungle, so maybe it'll be a little bit nicer in the birch forest hills or whatever. There's my home. See how quick that is? Jeez. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This is why I needed the moss stone. 
or the the vines, so I can make some moss stone. And the reason I need the moss stone, I'm going to the cavern dimension, or one of them. The cavern mod adds like four or five different ones, so we're going to the. Ca oh, ooh, ooh! I think I'm almost made a, a bad, uh, because I don't have any armor. And real quick, I'm gonna make a quick detour down to the ravines. Why does everything hate me? Ow. And then, bam! No, 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 no. We have a bat. Everybody. Say hello to Philip. Ah. 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 Philip, you're awesome. You're the best. You're the best bad a guy I could ask for. Boom. Let's go from the front. And here we are in the wonderful world of the caverns. Um, it's it's raining gravel. Hallelujah! It's raining gravel. Go, sick him. Yeah, stone miner ran K. So apparently there's um mining ranks. He caught on fire. I'm guessing you tried to fly through the uh the lava and it didn't work out so well. Be careful of that, the bats aren't very bright. Well they are when they're on fire, but you know what I mean. I think the next step Next thing that I'm going to be doing is going to be automating ore production. Because, I mean, if I'm going to be getting a lot of ores, I'm going to need to process them. We have mana light. Jesus Christ. That scared me. It didn't scare me as much the first time for some reason. Cool, I have mining assist, which is uh, this button. It's been changed to quick. Ranged. I, I did. Whew. Now the whole reason I added the cavern mod was because I loved my last playthrough uh, with the the old cavern mod, uh, the cave gen mod. And I wanted to do another, you know, cave survival, but I could not find any mod that came close to the same style of, of mod that the other one was, and this one is definitely not that. There's no way that you can survive down there. Just like from the start. So I added it kind of hoping that I could do that, but I, I like what I got going on here. It's a, this is nice. And it's, I'm very sad about the other mod, but hopefully somebody at some point will pick it up and make something similar because it's just it's so good it it was a real it was a really great mod for a really great world to survive in it was wonderful uh but i think that's going to do it for this episode i i got quite a bit done i moved this um actually you know what i'm going to do one last thing hey philip oh you're so cute um anyway I am going to go ahead and make a energetic infuser because I can. And then, oh, oh, it's electrum. Oh, I thought it was gold. But I need. I'm going to uh, do some preparation, and I'm going to try to automate my ore production using the Tinker's construct smeltery. Yes. Cool. As well as uh, some other things to actually make that feasible. Uh, immersive engineering is what I'll, what other thing I'm going to use. All right, put that 
there. Oy, this takes so long. Boom. We are golden. Really hope I've been recording my audio this entire time. Because this is actually turning out to be a nice episode. A little bit more chill, a little bit less awesome than the other ones, but you know, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Uh, oops. So let's, let's try this out. Uh, sneak to teleport. Can I suffocate if you teleport there? This is just like a, a one block wide wall that I can teleport through. Uh, guessing not. <laughs> That's cool. So maximum distance isn't particularly a lot. Uh, ooh. Does it let me just teleport on top of blocks? Oh, that's nice. So I don't actually, it doesn't like to like put me on the face, it just puts me on top of that block. Cool. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh man. This is like my new favorite toy, guys. I am so glad I found this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, this is awesome. Hmm. Not gonna let me do that. There we go. I made it to the top. And I have 20,000 left. How, how much does it take to teleport? 20,000, 1,000, and if I just teleport as far as I can, 18,000. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I love it. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, then I, again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, everybody, take it easy. Ta-ta! I don't know if I ever finished telling you about my plan. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Bye. <laughs> Let's face it. I'm cute.